I'm reflecting on this scripture this morning in Proverbs. I decided to study out the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, I love this book because, this book in the Bible, because it is so practical. It just gives a lot of great nuggets for growth. Something I was reading this morning in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22, it says, How long, Angela, will you love your simple ways? And I was like, what does that mean? couple of verses above that, it says in Proverbs chapter 1, it says, The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, for gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just in fear, for giving prudence to those who are simple. Here goes that word again. Knowledge and discretion to the young. And let the wise listen and add to their learning. And let the discerning get guidance for understanding parables and proverbs. The sayings of wits, of riddles of the wise. And the thing that kept jumping out of me was this idea of simple ways. I'm thinking about some of my simple ways or what used to be my simple ways. One of my simple ways was just indulging the grind, you know, as a business owner. In the past couple of months, I think I hired like three or four people. And I'm thinking how liberating it has been to be able to onboard people because I changed my mindset about entrepreneurship, that I don't have to get up every day and be hustle, hustle, hustle. You know, it's a simple way of thinking, thinking that if I'm not killing myself, in the rat race, then I'm not really working hard. But I'm learning more and more that working hard is overrated. Working right is what matters. I'm seeing how this, this embracing this idea of getting rid of my simple ways, my simple way of thinking about my business is also expanding opportunities for other people to be employed. Simple ways, you must abandon it. If we're going to grow, we must understand that simple in my personal interpretation is another way of saying stupid, quite frankly. Because a lot of times when it says here down here in verse 22 when it says how long will you who are simple love your simple ways so that tells me that sometimes we're doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result and that is stupid wouldn't you agree i agree and i have been stupid at times we probably all have been stupid at times but you don't have to stay that way it's not liberating so i am just on here today to just encourage you to let go of any simple ways that you are you are currently engaged in anything that you're doing over and over and expecting a different result even though it's clearly not working so consider, what is that for you? Something in your emotional growth, your personal development, some financial battlefield that you have, something that you're doing in your relationships that you keep doing the same thing over and over and you're not getting a better result, but you keep doing it. Simple ways. That's all I got for you today. Click on the link. Join us on our journey to heal, aspire, and grow because that's what we do here all day long, every day, 365 days a year. Have a great day and I'll catch you in another episode of Andy Speaks Stronger Than Splitters. Bye-bye.